Hi, my name is Robert Steltman. Today I'm going to show you how to put a force main on your drawing. Uh, we've already placed our location uh, on the drawing in plan. Now we're going to place it on our profile. We select our water main. Uh, this is the size of the water main, 150 millimeters, 1.7 meters deep. This is the label and the text height. We select our design profile and there it's offset it. Um, the neat thing is it is reactive so we'll select it, we'll pull it down and it brings the um, pipe down. We can also make sure we have no interference. We want a minimum of one meter clearance. We pick a start point and there's our table and it shows us in plan what, where the uh, conflicts are and how much clearance there is. It will also do civil 3D pipes if there were additional pipes. Now we're going to insert a valve. We select our water main. Uh, this block will be placed in plan. This one in profile. This will be the label, the text height. So we just go OK. We pick our point and it labels it on the drawing. Now we're going to pick that valve and we're going to move it and it updates on the profile. We can also change the pipe size. If we pick the pipe and it was 150, now we're going to change it to a 600. It scales the block, changes the size, and also changes the uh, label. Now we're going to put some fire hydrants on and with the fire hydrants we select our polyline. Um, this time we're going to space them every 75 meters and we're going to put coverage circles on as well. And we show where the first one is and it's put those coverage circles on. Again, if we move the fire hydrant over, it updates on the profile. Now we're going to put the water main around our bulb. We select our water main, select the center line. We'll make it concentric to the cul-de-sac, and we're going to put a 17 bulb with a 12 meter water main return. We eyeball where it goes, and we break it, and here's our water main around the bulb. Now we're going to put our water main on our cross sections. We pick our water main or our 3D poly, we'll say a text height of one. We're going to have it a zero, and we'll put it horizontal and stacked. And we go OK, and it will place it. Here's the label, and here's the pipe shown on the cross section. We can also place the uh, fire hydrants on uh, the cross section and we'll put in a block called uh, no that's fine and we'll just go OK and it comes back and it'll tell us what section it was written on or placed on it'll put it on the closest one and here's where it will be here's our point where it's located it gives us uh, optionally the the, the actual station, the offset, and the elevation, and a descriptor. We can put whatever we want on there. Just another set of tools to show you how Steltman software makes you more productive. Give us a call, 905-945-9620.